Hello friends, in next lecture we will study about the structure of the earth and the plate tectonics. Earth is basically made up of three layers, core, mantle and crust. Core is the most inner, innermost part of the earth. It has two parts, outer core and the inner core. Mantle is above from the core and crust is the outermost part of the earth. Crust is basically where we live. Crust is made up of continental crust which is 10 to 70 km thick. Buoyant land less dense than oceanic crust, mostly old. Oceanic crust which is thin, which is 7 km dense, sinks under continental crust and it is young. How do we know what is uh, earth, uh, how do we know what the earth is made of? According to ge by geological surveys, seismic, gravity, magnetics, electrical, geodesy, acquisition, land, air, sea and satellite, geological surveys, fieldwork, bore boreholes and mines. These are the ways by which we can find what the, what the earth is made of. What is tectonic plate? If you look at the map of the world, you may notice that some of the continents could fit together like pieces of puzzles. They could fit with each other. Plate tectonics. Earth's crust is divided into 12 major plates which are moved in various directions. This plate motion causes them to collide, pull apart or scrap against each other. Each type of interaction causes a characteristic set of earth structure or tectonic features. The word tectonic refers to the deformation of the crust as consequence of plate interaction. World plates. These are the 12 world plates present in the whole world. Plates are made of rigid lithosphere. Lithosphere is made up of crust and the upper part of the mantle. Earth crust has is like this. Upper part is crust, while inner part is upper mantle and mantle, then outer crust, then inner core, then outer core and then inner core. Exosphere, thermosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere and troposphere are present above crust. What lies beneath the tectonic plates below the lithosphere which makes up the tectonic plates is the asthenosphere. Plate movement. Plates of lithosphere are moved around by the underlying hot mantle convection cells. You can see trench which is present here, ridge present here, plate of lithosphere present here, next trench is present here, it is mantle convection cell and it is mantle convection cell. Uh, if you see uh, downward to it, there is outer core and inner core present. There are three types of plate boundaries. Divergent. In divergent plate boundaries, both plates move apart from each other away in this way. Um, in con uh, convergent, uh, the plate boundaries move towards each other and they will look like this. And in transform, plate boundaries will move from away from each other like this. And the, you can see its shape here. Divergent boundaries. Spread, it, it has spreading ridge. Subducting plate dehydrates, inducing partial melting in the mantle wedge, which provides magma into the continental crust. Mantle convection cell is present here, like this. It has spreading ridges. As plates move apart, new material is erupted to fill the gaps. Iceland is an example of continental drifting. Iceland has a divergent plate boundary running through its middle. You can see its shape here in the left side of the screen. You can see its shape of this. Uh, you can see the shape of this plate. Convergent boundaries. There are three styles of convergent plate boundaries: continental, continent, continent, continent collision, continent oceanic cross collision, ocean ocean collision. Continent, continent. In continent, continent collision forms mountains, European Alps, Himalayas are formed by this. Continent, continent crust, uh, continental crust, continental cross collision, lithosphere, lithosphere, ancient oceanic crust, mountain ridges are present here, oil high plateaus. Himalayas are formed by this process. Continent oceanic crust collision called subduction, oceanic crust tends subducting slab, continental crust beyond the subducting slab dehydrate inducing partial melting in the overlying magnetic mantle wedge. The mantle wedge feeds magma into the continental crust forming volcanoes. It is the subduction in which you can see um, volcanic eruption is present here while these are the mountains which have snow is not present here. 
Oceanic lithospheric subduct underneath the continental lithosphere. Oceanic lithosphere heats and hydrates as it subsides. The melt rises, forming volcanism. The ends. The subducting slabs hydrate, inducing partial melting in the overlying mantle wedge. The mantle wedge feeds magma into the continental crust, forming volcanoes. Ocean-ocean plate collision when two oceanic plates collide, one runs over the other, which causes it to sink into the mantle, forming a subject subduction zone. The subducting plate uh, is bent uh, is bent downward to form a very deep depression in the ocean floor called a trench. The world's deepest part of the oceans are formed along trenches. The Mariana Trench is 11 km deep. Transform boundaries where plate slides past each other. You can see Via San Andreas transform fault. Its shapes are present in the screen. Pacific ring fire. Volcanism is, volcanism is mostly focused at plate margins. Volcanoes are formed by subduction, drifting hotspots. Subaerial volcanism is present on the left side of the screen. You can see submarine volcanism and subaerial volcanism. Subducting plate melts feed magma through the continental crust for to form volcanoes. Pacific ring of fire hotspots volcanoes. Water hotspot welcome volcanoes. Hotspot mantle plums breaching the surface in the middle of the tectonic plate. The Hawaiian island chains are examples of hotspot volcanoes. Tectonic plates move over a fixed hotspot forming a chain of volcanoes. Sea level sea mounts and eroded volcanic islands, active volcanic islands, oceanic crust, rising mantle plums, hotspot, mantle, the mantle plum is stationary, the tectonic plate moves over the hotspot, the volcanoes get younger from one end to other. Earthquakes and the plate tectonics. As the volcanoes, earthquakes are not randomly distributed over the globe, at the boundaries between the plates, friction causes them to stick together when built up energy causes them to break earthquakes occur. Where do earthquakes come? Ocean ridge, divergence, trench, convergence, ocean surface, transform fault, cool lithosphere, hot lithosphere, asthenosphere, hot material rises into the fire, shallow earthquakes, deep focus. Uh, earthquakes, you can see the stars, uh, stars are shown here. These are the Shallow earthquakes while the uh, while the circles present here, these are the deep focus earthquakes. Continent present here, lithosphere is present here, rising magma is also present here. The earth is made up of three layers, core metal crust. On the surface of the earth are tectonic plates that slowly move around the globe. Plates are made of crust and the upper mantle lithosphere. There are two types of plates. There are three types of plate boundaries, volcanoes and Earthquakes are closely linked to the margins of the tectonic plates. Okay guys, it was all about the structure of the earth and the tectonic plates. If you have any question, please write in the comment box. Thank you.